is the 1979 Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort, which was, of course, an Alan Jones victory in that fantastic summer of 1979 that once the uh, tap of Williams race wins was turned on, it seemed to flow through the rest of that summer. And, of course, it's a race that, having looked back at it later, I mean, it was just a superb battle between Alan and Gilles Villeneuve, like Canada would be a few months later. And actually, I, I mentioned this with Jacques, uh, this week, I was actually wanted to talk a little bit about Jack about what I'm talking to, about today, and then he kind of like had to go because one of the races coming is a pivotal race for him, and I wanted to talk to him about that. But I just said it was something that I read that your father said that of all the people that he has to race hard with, probably Alan Jones is one of, if not the best, because they're on such a similar level of ability to one another, and the pressure they give each other is just enough there's I mean literally there is one inch to spare and that's it and I think Gilles said that one of the people he most enjoyed racing against was Alan Jones and of course Zambort that year gave us that um, but Zambort was always because it fell in August or July and it was on the coast it was always a summer holiday for the Williams family the race that dad had to give in and take all of us to and I remember it as even though being four years old that day as the first race that I ever watched trackside my mum walked around the track with me on Saturday and she spotted a big grandstand covered in Renault branding and the men at the gate of it just said is it's Renault VIP I can briefly remember this but she filled in a few of the gaps I reminisce with her later and she very quickly went went into the paddock of course in the days then where the Formula One paddock was two three hundred people tops and everyone knew everyone. So she went to Jean Sage, the boss of Renault. And I remember this, I was fascinated walking straight into the middle of the Renault awning, surrounded by all their cars and mechanics, absolutely fascinated. And out of his pocket, he just produced two tickets and said, I have them, these are for the race tomorrow, if you want to watch the race there. So it turned out to be the first race that I ever watched trackside from green light to checkered flag. And But I clearly remember, because these things would make an impression on a racing mad four-year-old, I clearly remember mum saying to Alan Jones, look, it's gonna be Jonathan's first race. Would you, uh, and this is where we're gonna be watching. I don't think you can miss it because it's a grandstand all by itself, covered in Renault branding. On the warm up lap, can you give him a wave? He'd love that. And yeah, of course, I can. as you can imagine, for him, no problem. I mean, the pressure of leading the field round from pole position, managing that parade lap, uh, nothing to him. And I clearly remember my mum Again, that's why you remember it, because you're being wound up with excitement. My mum prompted me saying, right, can you hear them? They're coming, they're coming. Watch Alan, he's going to be the first car. You need to watch the first car. You need to look out for, uh, for daddy's car. And as he came past the grandstand, this just hand came out it's on the parade lap. And there's all these people in the Renault grandstand thinking, why is one of our rivals randomly waving at us on the warm-up lap or something? And he came past and just did that and a couple of hours later won the race. So, uh, yeah, I can just remember this hand coming out of the... Uh, out of the cockpit, so yeah, so that's why it's sort of, uh, yeah, it, it has to be there for me for those reasons.